It was Mardi Gras night at Yogi Berra Stadium as the Jackals finished their four-game series against the Capitals. Jeremy Barnes was back in the lineup today. He bat second. And the man on the mound was Craig Hayer. Looking to break their recent losing streak, the Jackals struck early here. Chris Duffy crushes one. Deep right field. That's a two-run home run. And the Jackals have their largest lead of the series. But the Jackals didn't stop there. The next inning, bottom of the fifth. Ryan Sabatella hits a fly ball to center. Chris Curran would score, making it 3-1 to one Jackals. Everything was clicking for the Jackals in this one. Top six, Brian Sabatella catches a fly ball in right field, catches the man on first napping, doubles him up, and ends the inning. The onslaught would continue into the seventh when Sabatella steals second. The throw goes into center field, and Jeremy Barnes scores. Same at bat, Jared Puto lines one into left. That would score Sabatella, and the game is now 5-2. to two. Later that same inning, Danny Rams at bat. He lines a shot into the left center field gap. That would be a 2-RBI double, and the Jackals would have a 7-2 lead. The Jackals dominated the Capitals in all aspects, adding insult to injury here when Brian Sabatella rushes in from right field and lays out for the web gem. Meanwhile, the offense kept going until the very end. Here in the bottom of the eighth, Chris Duffy finishes his huge day at the plate with a single that would bring his total to four RBIs on the day. Keith Cantwell came in and ended the game, giving Hayer his team-leading fifth win and the Jackals a much-needed victory. The final score of tonight's game, New Jersey Jackals 9, Le Capital de Quebec 2. Fans the Jackals, thank you for attending tonight's game here at Yogi Berra Stadium. In just a few Jackals fans, remember to like us on Facebook, follow us at Jackals Baseball on Twitter, and go to jackals.com for tickets, info, and more.